Welcome back to The Late Show. You know, folks, it's been an exciting week. What a week it's been. So much has happened, I barely remember Monday or Thursday. <laughs> so as a service to you, we've collected the very best moments from Russia Week. Jim? I'm very excited about this. We now have actual video of Donald Trump after his conversation with Putin. He's gone back to his original seat, but he's still gesturing at Putin. Are you, you great? I'm looking at you. There you go. Here's my hand. You don't know where it's been. You too. What are you doing? All right. How about this? How about this? You, me, collude. <laughs> the meeting actually lasted as long as an hour. Gentlemen, if your collusion lasts longer than an hour, please consult the FBI. <laughs> See, this is how things work over in Russia. Over there, the political system is controlled by wealthy elites who buy influence and pull strings of the government. Whereas in America, we speak English. It's the coolest hat there is, because we're oligarchs. It's not a dumb hat at all. Can we touch tips? Can we touch the tips? Yeah. Not a lot of men are comfortable doing that. Popular interview with Stephen Colbert! The beautiful and friendly Russian people. I don't understand why no members of the Trump administration can remember meeting you. Room 1101, the presidential suite of the Ritz-Carlton Hotel. I rented it. Here's the key. Let's go. I don't know how to describe it. Um, it's soaked in history. It just... It just washes over you. I mean, it's not even like it's in the past. You're in history. You're in it. You are the only other uh, living candidate who won the popular vote and did not become president of the United States. Have you spoken to Mrs. Clinton about this? I have. I spoke to her after the election. And she's, to, she's gonna be fine. Mm -hmm. The country's another matter. <laughs> <laughs> Every one of y'all in the White House has lost your damn mind! I'm gonna tell you one last thing. I thought I was on a forced retirement, y'all, but it looked like Obama still need me, so I am back. We need to repeal and replace Obamacare. Repeal and immediately replace the failures of Obamacare. Repeal and replace Obamacare. Repeal and replace it. It was your one job. <laughs> it's your tagline. It's your motto. It's Paul Ryan's tramp stamp. <laughs> Crazy, like even talking to Solange about like just as as in uh, when she was an employee on the show, like hearing her have casual conversations and be like, yeah, my sister, me and my sister do this, me and, and I and I zone out immediately because I'm like, she's talking about Beyonce. <laughs> that's, that's Beyonce's her sister. So it, it, it got very challenging. You said this. <laughs> oh no. You said you were considering becoming a talk show host in New York. 20 years from now. Is this a retirement plan to you? <laughs> this is... Okay, we're back. Hope you enjoyed the commercials. Um, this, is, this is really a thrill. I owe you big for this. Please give a warm welcome to... Tell me it one more time. Scott? Scott? Stephen. Stephen Colbert. <laughs> This is embarrassing. We're out of time. <laughs> mm -hmm. Great oh, to be here, man. I'm a huge great. fan. What you're doing yeah. is important. 